right, so now we have the door installed here. Um, this has been, we basically replaced that old door that was uh, just hanging on here. We actually raised the floor up um, and we actually cut a little bit of the bottom of that door off. Um, we started to paint in these rooms. Can't really see because it's kind of dark. But um, started to paint, gave it kind of a whitewash effect. Also in this room. And it's also done as we've done the frame to the great windows here. Um, so if we come up here, you can see that we have got the frame built in here. This is going to stop the window from or the glass from falling out. So as we put the glass up, it's going to be held in by this three-quarter inch molding, which has been nailed and glued down. And that's been done on each side. And then once that locks in, do a silicone around there, and then you have another board that keeps it secure. So that's that. And then we also have this bedroom painted with a, uh, a solid, co solid color here. And then you have the beams going across, they're gonna be blue. So that's how far we've come now. And next thing we have to do is paint this room, do a little bit of electrical, and cover up some of these holes up here. And uh, yeah, come along nice. Okay, so we have the first coat of white paint on the main room here. And we also have done the white on the ceiling. And it just have a little bit of a whitewash effect, it's still drying here. But uh, tomorrow we'll see how that looks. And the ceiling, it's uh, more solid, higher gloss, so it'll reflect on that light a little bit more. So we'll see how it comes out um, tomorrow when we do the beams. Okay, so what we've done here is we got the appliances in, we got the cabinets in, uh, we got them unfinished, and then just did a stain and poly to them, just give it a nice um, rustic feel. And we just put them in place right now. We haven't actually mounted them. A little bit unlevel, so what we're doing is taking this back two by four, and we're gonna use this to level these cabinets. So depending on what kind of countertop we put on, we're gonna make sure it's nice and level. Um, get the oven here in place, the microwave. We mounted in here, which was a, a little bit of work here. So the air duct goes outside. Uh, get the power plugged in right here. Um, so we had to move that slightly over. Then here we have power. This is for the dishwasher. The dishwasher is going to go right here. Uh, left 24 inches here. So, and then we have the cabinets up that we just screwed here on the bottom. So that's what's holding all that up here. And uh, we got some lighting coming in today. And uh, we're just going to get the dishwasher in its rightful place. This what we've uh, started today here, started to sheetrock, as you can see. Got this wall right up here, got that up. That's half done up there. And we're going to be coming up with the design here to just sheetrock the top. And then still make uh, below here accessible. So we, if there's a leak or we need to change something down here, we can still uh, modify that and change that. The piping you can see is now put together, hot and cold, goes across. And uh, goes up to, this is for the, um, this, the washer here clothes washer and um, the dryer plugs right here and that's going to double stack up here and this is where the air vent is going to go so um, yeah that's it so far all right so now we have actually the new doors in here so you can see the older doors had a bigger frame like this and so we ended up uh, going back to Home Depot and getting a new door in we just polyed them and um, as you can see the look is much better these two windows now look uh, a lot alike. And then in this room here, what we've done it was we started um, putting the spackle on the walls and we're just spackling in the corners. We're going to put the spackle on and sand and put more spackle on the sand and keep doing that. Up here, we're going to be putting a molding, so we're not worried about that. And down here, we're going to be putting just a piece of wood so that we can um, take it off and we're going to get access to any of the water uh, or any of the pipes case of freezing or issues later on. Same thing over here. Um, so after that we'll be probably putting a, a kilts paint on it and uh, priming it and then painting this room. Alright, that's it so far. Alright, so now we have um, our laminate countertops installed. 
what we did was we just actually um, cut a hole right here for the countertop and we did a diagonal piece right here and uh, came out comes out very nice screw that down same thing for this one right now uh, we have it liquid nails underneath here and we put some screws in here to keep it down because sometimes when you get the countertops they have a little bit of a bow so by doing this it straightens it out we'll let that sit overnight and um, the liquid nails will dry and then feel comfortable taking these weights off uh, we have this room prepped here have all, all sheetrocked here going to be painting tomorrow. I have a little bit left that we have to sand, but it's looking pretty good. Then out here, we have this, the steps finally pretty much finished. A little extra lighting here. Step lighting is installed. Show you that underneath. So underneath here, we I put a little bit, piece of silicone here and just a molding here. So when you're looking at the stairs from this angle, you don't see any light shining in your face. You just have that nice light going down. And then on this side, we have some lights and wiring. This is where I'm doing all the wiring because it screws in. Underneath here, you have a strip of lighting going underneath each stair, which lights the stair underneath it. Under here, as you can see. So that's that. And then out here, we have um, just uh, all the sheet rock up, sanding it, mudding it, and um, we're just, we have to keep going back over checking our edges, checking the sheet rock, make sure it's nice and smooth, and just add a little bit more and sand it off, add sand until it's nice and smooth, check for cracks. Also, it's a little difficult in the winter time because there's a, it, it constantly cracks. So that's the progress so far, and then soon we'll be getting to uh, painting in the floors. Okay, now you can see we here we have the moldings installed. Um, we actually caulked the moldings so you can't see the cracks because it came out really nice. And we caulked the bottom of these moldings. If there are any cracks, we caulked it. Uh, this pretty much looks like one piece now. So you can tell it's very white, but we're going to be adding the um, wash and dryer here. Painting the, the door a different color. And once you put the floor in with a bench, that's going to definitely add some color to this room. Um, and here we have the Countertops down, they're finally settled, been screwed down. Then in this large room here, we've finished painting. So this room has been painted now, and we have the moldings to do next. Um, put the window frame around here, put some window frames around here. And uh, next step here is we're going to be adding the moldings. Hopefully the windows up here will be coming in. Uh, later next week, so that will be nice and yep, so that's the progress so far